Okay, so the tryptophan operon is composed of the repressor and the promoter, the operator and the genes. The repressor creates the repressor protein. The promoter um, is where the RNA polymerase binds to. The operator is where the repressor protein binds to, and these are the, the genes that make tryptophan. When tryptophan is present, the repressor will make that repressor protein. The tryptophan will bind to that repressor protein and have it undergo that conformational shape change that is necessary for it to bind to the operator. And when it's bound to the operator, the RNA polymerase will not be able to scan the genes and make tryptophan. So, so typically the tryptophan operon works when there is tryptophan present, but in this case tryptophan is not present. So the repressor will still make the repressor protein, but um, there's no tryptophan in it that will bind to the repressor protein that will cause that conformational shape change that is necessary for it to bind to the operator. Therefore, this will just not be here. And the, but the RNA polymerase, when there is no uh, repressor present, repressor protein, then it can just scan the genes, bind to the operator, and it can make tryptophan.